Hello everybody, Noel from Scratch Genius here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a sprite point to an XY coordinate. I hope you will enjoy this video and let's get into it. Okay, so here we have an example sprite with the direction and the X and Y position. Now we also have the coordinates we want to look at. In this example, X200 and Y100. So to make this work, we're going to use a trigonomic function, ATAN, or the inverted tangent function. Now this would take two inputs, delta x and delta y. Now delta means change or difference in something. So the delta x would be the difference in x position and the delta y would be the difference in y position. So to get that, we'll get the target x minus our x position and the same thing for the y. So we will get the a tan of delta x divided into delta y. This is kind of like a triangle of trigonometry where we x is the adjacent y is the opposite, and this is the angle we're trying to figure out. So direction equals all of that. But now, because of the way that Scratch handles direction, we need to make a small correction. If the delta y is less than zero, the direction equals direction plus 180. So we're simply adding 180 to the direction. Okay, I hope you understand this. Now that we have this down, let's go and Scratch and build it. Okay, so here we are in the editor, and I sent up a simple script so that I can make the character move with the WASD key. Okay, so now let's get started. First of all, we're going to create a block, point to x, x, and y. Okay, so now I'm going to hit OK, and I'm going to drag that into my forever loop and set it to a coordinate. Okay. So now let's start with making the actual block. First of all, I'm going to drag in a point and direction block and as well as some operators. First of all, this operator block where you can switch it to different operations. The one that we're going to use is ATAN, like I explained previously. Then we're also going to drag in a division for dividing the two deltas and the two subtractions for finding the delta. So in the first slot of the subtraction, we're going to put in our wanted coordinate, which we can drag from there, and subtract our position, x position and y position from that. We can drag those into the division, and good, we're done with that. Now we need to make the correction that I explained earlier. So we're going to need an addition, drag that in there, and we're going to need some multiplication. We'll also create the boolean thing over here. So we can duplicate this, the delta y from over there, and if it's less than zero. Now here's a trick. If you use booleans in number inputs, if they're true, they'll equal one, and if they're false, they'll equal zero. So if we multiply this by 180, if it's true, it's gonna be 180, and if it's false, it's gonna be zero. So we can drag that in there, drag this in a point in direction, and there, we're finished. Thank you very much for watching. If you like my video, please hit like. If you enjoy my channel, please consider subscribing. That way you won't miss any future content. If you have ideas for videos or tutorials, please post them in the comment section below. Now have fun, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video.